guys. I'm back with another one and in this one we are taking a look at something really interesting. Um, it's water from iFlight Zinc. Uh, what's really interesting about it is the size 2405 motor. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. We have the packaging containing screws that are really, really short. I don't think I can mount this motor to any of my frames with this short of the screws. And the real star of the show is, well, the motor itself. Um, it's pretty standard. Uh, design, uh, it's a uh, unibelt design, uh, it's all one piece with the insert from the bottom with a lip that actually helps uh, keep the um, uh, magnets uh, from slipping, although I never had bells, uh, motors, motor magnets slip. Uh, it has well, pretty much what you expect from the high-end motor like iFlight's Zinc line. But uh, I'm here to talk about the size. 2405 size is actually not something that we never seen before in motors. Uh, I have pretty old Hobby Wing 2405 motors that is really really solid solid motor and it's the smoothest motor I ever felt in the hands it's literally like you don't have any magnets I mean it's so smooth from, to the feel but yeah uh, I'm comparing the motor sizes uh, I uh, had these motors on the quads before when the 4S was the preferred uh, battery and uh, I actually like this status or motor size uh, with uh, steeper pitch props and it really really flew great but uh, since then I'm flying I'm flying 2304 uh, 2306 um, motors um, on 6s with lower pitch props. I really like how they, they behave and how they come out um, out of the dice and it's I, I don't know how to explain it but the, the motor with higher KV uh, on 6S is pretty much a linear throttle response. The 2207 motor had that I don't know how to call it, but but the bump in throttle. When you when you get on the throttle, it doesn't go linear, but it has that kind of a bump, and then it really really goes. Um, since these motors are 2306.5, um, this motor is thinner and wider, so basically it has more leverage. To, to the torque. So in theory this should get even smoother performance than than these. Uh, I always use uh, my dream frame that I actually designed for all of my testing and I actually designed this frame with these motors in mind when you see the curvature of the arm, it actually follows the 2405 motors. So yeah, it should be pretty interesting. So uh, let's disassemble the motor and see if it's iFlight's usual motor. And we have the standard bigger size uh, uh, bearing on the 
bottom pretty nice and clean and thin lamination multi-strand wire on the stator and for the belt as I said uh, it has that lip and outer and inner ring and what's pretty interesting is the cut little cuts inside the maybe you can see here better inside the magnets and also as all all uh, i flight zinc motors the motor has motor has that o-ring i personally really like that approach i mean all motors except zinc motors uh, feel a bit wretchedy after some some times and some flights and beatings but the iFlights motors are still pretty 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 smooth uh, I can show you an example these these flywheel motors are basically the same as produced in, in the same factory and these have I mean I don't know how many flights but pretty 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 few and they they're still really 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 smooth all of them I mean these the these quad has has pretty pretty much beating held handle to them but yeah it's really really smooth so I hope uh, I will get the same results uh, with these motors um, and one more thing we didn't do and that is the weight of the motor this motor is 32 I don't know if you can if you can see it but 32 grams the older generation of motors I mean this is really a tank we'll look at it just this base alone it's really really substantial it's 30 39 grams so yeah a bit old versus new yeah I uh, well that's all I have for the motor and um, unboxing uh, next I will uh, throw it on my quad and give it a rip after that I will give you my opinion and uh, thoughts on this really really nice looking and really really nice quality motor
on the <coughs> motors as you can see from the video um, <coughs> the motors are exactly what I expected them to be even more I mean they have plenty power I mean insane power on lower pitch uh, props and they are smooth especially when you're coming from the dives you just slightly increase the throttle and the quad just just smoothly levels out I mean these are by far the best motors I ever flown and if you value my uh, opinion I will strongly suggest that you try these motors so um, maybe um, go a little lower on KV these are uh, 1950 kV motors um, there is also uh, 180 um, variant and I mean those will, will be spot on I mean with the power and the smoothness yeah you can't, can't really go wrong um, yeah if you like them if you like what you see uh, click and buy from the link below thank you